Hi, my name is Arend van Kampen. I'm a business ethicist, a systems theorist and a cybernetician. What I have developed is a scientifically sound measurement or mapping tool by which I can predict which living system, organization, company, enterprise, industry, financial or political system or ideology can be sustained and which one will be unsustainable. In system science, we talk about living and dead organizations, systems. These living systems, such as your body, nature, the universe, are systems that are alive because they continuously communicate with their environments. By using all relevant information, they are able to adapt, learn and stay alive. This is a ship. This ship needs to reach a new destination, the other side of the ocean. And it can only do that by allowing all information to be used to correct the course of the ship to the other side. The word cybernetics comes from the Greek word kubernetes, which means helmsman. This is the ship's course. The vessel sailing like this, constantly adjusting for tide, wind, weather, draft of the vessel, and so on. And it stays within these boundaries of functionality. The boundaries of safety, security. Information is always used to correct course. Now, when we look at organizations, enterprises, industries, they do not always use all information that is needed to keep course within those boundaries of functionality. These boundaries of functionality I call the boundaries of reality and I devised this word, realimiteit, it's a Dutch word, that shows what the limits of reality are. Limits of reality. In order to survive for a living system, it needs to use all information. What we often see in organizations, political parties, uh, industries, is that they have a goal, a purpose, and the purpose is production, making money, making profit. Now, information about, let's say, the restrictions of making profit, for example, when a product or an ideology harms a, the environment, harms, for example, social cohesion, and even harms human and non-human life, that information needs to be put in also within these boundaries, within the realimiteit. Because if you don't do it, and the information goes beyond those limits, beyond the boundaries, then we end up in non-linear effects which we can no longer govern or control. This is a scientific fact. We get into nonlinear effects, which we can call entropy, which is disorder. Now, look at the status of our world. It's disorder everywhere we look. Conflict, pollution. When we talk about energy, the law of conservation of energy tells us that energy is always there in our universe. It's never gone, it's not lost, it's always there, it just changes form. Information is energy which forms reality and matter. 
This is a fact. Information is as energy, always there. Soon as it's thought, communicated, spoken, it is there, it is not gone. Therefore, that information has influence on our living system, either we like it or not. Information needs to be put in as feedback in order to govern and control the system. If it goes beyond realimiteit, we are ending up in this order and we talk about the dead system because it does not communicate anymore. The functioning of an organization needs information and we can ask ourselves, is our organization, is our industry, is our political ideology or process either negative interdependent or positive interdependent? Negative interdependence means that the goals, the purposes of the organization, the political process of industry, may benefit some, but at the cost of others. For example, the three criteria here I wrote, human and non-human life, environment, social cohesion. If the organization has impact on these three, we call them negative interdependent. If an organization is positive interdependent, it will not harm anyone. It is beneficial to all, to all stakeholders, to all uh, related industries, uh, governments, everything. And it will not harm those three criteria. This is a question that every organization should ask themselves. Are we either negative or positive interdependent? So what we can do is mapping, mapping of information streams, information exchanges. We do this by creating these feedback loop models, feedback loop maps. We just say, look at how is the organization communicating and with whom or with whom not. So the organization is, in this case, communicating with the shareholders, information, communicating with government and, for example, communicating with authorities. But they may not want to share information with society, information about the environment, information to all stakeholders or communicate with an NGO. So all these loops to be able to have the organization function within the realimiteit, the limits of reality, need to be created. We need to exchange information by feedback to everyone involved. Then we can create a positive, interdependent, living organization, living system. So everything is interconnected, interdependent. We have to build living systems, uh, positive interdependent organizations by applying this principle. So all, everybody involved, related or affected by an organization needs to be able to find the information, to share the information. Basically, the disorder of our world is caused by non-communication, non-sharing of information, not wanting to share information because our purpose or goals may contradict that. So we do not like information maybe because it contradicts our goals or purposes. We see that in politics, we see that in business. This is unsustainable. You may not like what I say, but it is real. Information is energy, it makes it real. 
Therefore we now have a chance to redesign all negative interdependent systems into positive interdependent systems using the sciences behind this. An exciting time for everybody. Please think about it. Thank you.